guys, so today I am finally going to be doing the video that you've all been waiting for. Yes, I'm going to be doing my new hamster's cage tour. Now I know I told everyone that I would be revealing her name in this video, but unfortunately I am horrible at picking out names and I haven't decided on one yet. But when I do finally decide on her name, I will make sure to post an official name announcement video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. So since this is the first time I'm showing her cage, I am just going to talk about the cage itself a little bit before I get started because I know this cage looks extremely small on camera. So I just want to tell you a little bit about it and its dimensions just to clear some things up. So this bin looks really small on camera for a couple different reasons. The first reason is the wheel. It is a pretty big wheel. I will show you that more in detail later. And the second reason that I think it looks pretty small is because it is a really tall bin. I had to find a extremely tall bin to fit her wheel. So I think that makes the actual bin look smaller. So this bin actually came from the container store and it is one of their 33 gallon totes. If you look on their website, the dimensions gave on there, if you figure that out, it actually comes to like 588 square inches. But I know those dimensions are measuring from the largest point, so I actually measured the where the floor is of her cage. And if you measure the actual floor space, it ends up being right around 450 square inches, which as you know, the minimum is about 360. So although 450 isn't huge, it is definitely a good amount of space for her, and it definitely isn't as small as it shows up on the camera. So just please remember in my future cage tours, if it does look really small, it is about 450 square inches, a little bit more depending on how high her bedding is at the time, but it just looks extremely small. So now let's look at the cage. So here's what the bin cage looks like from the top. I just have the mesh on top only. I didn't put it on the sides just because I didn't really want her crawling up and trying to chew the mesh. So I do have mesh and then I have it zip tied on with some really colorful zip ties. And then I also added some colorful duct tape just to secure it a little bit more and make the edges look more finished. Now I'll go ahead and take off this lid. It does have a latching lid and then we can take a look at the cage. So here's just a quick overview of the cage. She is actually sleeping right now. I believe she is buried down in her little hut, but hopefully since she hears me, she might come up for us. But here is what the cage currently looks like. I'll try to get most of it in frame and just stay right there. The bedding right now is Carefresh. This is a PetSmart exclusive, I believe. This is a spring edition. So it is a light green, white, and kind of a lilac -y purple. It is really, really cute. So over on the left hand side of her cage is her water bottle. This is just a really cheap $2 water bottle from Walmart. I've used these a lot in the past and I've always had really good luck with them. And since her bin is really, really tall, it was hard to find a bottle that went down low enough for her. And I really didn't want to cut a hole in the side of the bin since I do like to rearrange and move the bottle around. So that is just what she has here. And then in the left corner is her food dish. Right now she is just on Hazel Hamster. I'll probably add in some other mix soon, but for now it's solely Hazel Hamster. And then over on the left side is one of her chew toys. Um, as I said, she is a pretty big chewer. As you can see, this is what she has done so far to this toy. Um, it's been in here, I think, almost two weeks. I put it in here when I first got her, and this is what she has done to it so far. She's taken out all the little orange pieces, so she really likes that toy. And then in the back is her wheel. So this is actually a brand new wheel for me that I have never tried before, and I don't think I've actually seen in any cage tours. This is called the Carolina Storm Express. This is a company that sells their wheels online and they're all handmade, which is really cool. And I think they specialize in hedgehogs, but the Express version is a little bit thinner track, so it doesn't take up as much space. And they recommend it for Syrian, so I thought I would try it. So, so far, I am absolutely in love with this wheel. I've tried a lot of different wheels in the past. I have tried the 12 inch silent spinner with my last Syrian. And although it was nice and big, it really wasn't that silent and it did rattle quite a bit. I've also tried the Flying Saucer, the 12 inch, and it's pretty silent, but it takes up a ton of floor space. And then I've also had the Wodent Wheel. The Wodent Wheel is probably my favorite, but it's really difficult, not difficult, but it's time consuming to take it apart and clean it all the time. So I thought I would try this one because as you can see, this is just one solid piece. So it's going to be insanely easy to clean. I can just get in there and wipe it down and do that. So it's super, super easy to clean and really, really quiet. And I'm not sure if you can tell in this one, but this is actually like an 11 inch diameter. So it is a really big wheel and it's the perfect size for even a larger Syrian. They do come in quite a few colors and I got the hot pink one. If you would like to see a full review on this wheel, let me know down in the comments 
and I might do a full review on this pretty soon because it has been really nice so far and I think a lot of hamster owners could really benefit from seeing this. But for now, we'll just go ahead and move on with the cage tour. We'll go back into the right hand corner. So back here, she just has a little chew ball that has some wooden balls in it. I don't think she has touched this yet. And then here is her house, which I believe she's in there right now. I'm not sure if you can tell. She is actually buried there. She's going to come out maybe. She loves to burrow down in that corner. So I'll just let you look at her real quick. Like I said, I've had her for about two weeks now, maybe a little longer than that by the time I put up this video, but she's doing great so far. She lets me pet her. She's really, really sweet, loves her treats, and she's just doing really good and settling in well. So I'll go ahead and put her house back on and she might come out. But this is just a really cute little plastic barn house that I picked up at Petco. And then moving up to the front, she has some more toys. Here's a little carrot toy from PetSmart. As you can see, she has really chewed on this too. Here's a little chew. I think this is from Petco. And then here's a really cute little like wooden wagon from Petco. I've actually seen these quite a few times in the past, but they were always pretty expensive. But it was on clearance for like a few dollars, so I thought I'd pick it up. It did come with a wooden lid on top, but I went ahead and took that off since she is pretty big. I didn't want her trying to go through that hole and getting stuck. So I just took the top off and I have that in the corner. There's a little bit of nesting material it came with. It is just like a paper type nesting material. It's not cotton or anything, so it's perfectly safe. And now we'll go to the front of her cage where her last few toys are. So as you can see right here, here is the little toy that you just saw in my last vlog. I actually just put this in so she hasn't touched it yet, but it's really, really cute and it's on clearance at Petco right now if you're interested. Up next is this really cute little teeter-totter or seesaw. You saw this in one of my recent hauls. I actually got this before I got my new hamster, but I hadn't given it to Pumpkin yet, and I thought that she might like it. And it is really cute. This came from a local pet store. It's by Living World, so I'm not sure. You may be able to get it at like Petland. I know they sell Living World. And then here is also the little lollipop mineral chew that you saw in the same local pet store haul that I got that. But as you can see, she has really chewed that so far and is really enjoying it. So that was a cage tour for my new hamster. Like I said, the floor space of this bin is about 450 square inches, but it does look really small on camera. If you want to see a video on this wheel, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. And I will also have an official name announcement video coming up whenever I finally decide on a good name for her. I have got a lot of good suggestions down in the comments. But if you haven't left a suggestion yet, go ahead and leave one down in the comments of this video and let me know what you think I should name her. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this cage tour. I know a lot of you have really been looking forward to it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And I'll see you next time.